riding the rails into a new era. Normally, an imperial transition means the death of an emperor and sadness. But because Akihito abdicated voluntarily, it's a cause for celebration. As the new era dawned in the land of the rising sun, Emperor Naruhito was gearing up for his formal ascension. I sincerely pray for the happiness of the people and the further development of the nation as well as the peace of the world. When the public got their first glimpse of the new emperor, there was great excitement. People said he's coming, he's coming, and I saw a glimpse of the car passing by. I'm glad I was able to enjoy the atmosphere. I brought my daughter and mother, three generations, to see this. But he was riding alone, his wife nowhere to be seen. That's because of an archaic law that meant the ceremony was off limits for females in the royal family. And because only males can inherit the throne, there are major questions about the future of the monarchy, with only two realistic potential emperors in the family. Emperor Naruhito says he'll work to change how Japan's royal family operates, updating the imperial household to reflect changing times. No doubt a big part of that will look at the role of women, a discussion to be had both inside and outside of these walls, given any changes must be passed by parliament. That's a national conversation that will take years. In the meantime, Japanese people are enjoying 10 days of holidays as part of this transition, unprecedented in this workaholic culture. Jake Sturmer, ABC News, Tokyo.